Hey everyone, Merrick's here, bringing you another video. This one is going to be uh, to steal something completely from G with his blessing. Um, Ridge Holland at 4 Star Bronze uh, basic setup. Um, he said that you guys request this often, and he suggested to me that I do this video, so I am. Um, so, trainer setup. Move setup first, actually. Uh, really, you only need the two black moves. If you're playing him later on in the month at 4-star, you're going to go a long way with just these two. I don't have a strap equipped to him or anything. You can honestly pick the fourth move, whatever you kind of want. If it's going to take multiple turns, I could see throwing the sub on to slow them down. Um, finisher if you want a little bit bigger damage sort of thing. Uh, but really, it's these two moves. Uh, 8 MP uh, Backbreaker, deal 41k damage, make 22 random gems into Blast Gems, and then the Arm Trap Suplex, 8 MP Black, uh, deal 58k damage and make 14 Blast Gems into Black Gems. So he has a 2 MP boost all month long, 50% uh, Blast Gem damage boost, and 50% um, boost. So two gems in general. Hi, Dex. Let me see my monitor, buddy. My cat is saying hi. Um, so that's the setup I would run. For your entourage, you want Woods for 4 black MP. Everybody should have him. Uh, Rhea, since the, the gem you're making the most of is the Blast Gems, she does a flat 2200 Blast Gem damage. The flat is key, especially if you're not using a strap. Um, so go that route. Santa Hogan, I'm told by my Twitch chat that you can see here making fun of me. Um, the, they said free-to-play, pretty much everyone has him at 2200 flat gem damage. The MP doesn't matter. Even if you only have him at 1100 damage, he still would be who I'd use flat damage here. And this spot, um, ideally, if you have them, go ahead and use... Um, Zombie Edge for flat 2200 black gem damage, or Bischoff for flat 2200 blast damage. Bischoff would be better than Edge. If you don't have them, everyone should have um, Ray here for the extra blast gem and 25% on those. Doing this uh, at this point, no strap, this setup, I cleared all Ridge content in the game first try. Um, he works great that way. So we'll just run a couple here. Actually, let me see if I can go higher. Then uh, 10k. What's the highest we can go to here? 13k. Let's just do that. Did I say fourth move? I meant the third move. Can't have four moves. That would break the game. Uh, if you have a Titan plate and a strap and feel like putting it on, uh, for the month, uh, he's really good with that. So yeah, you're just going to throw your Blast Gems out. Then you're going to click this button and probably uh, laugh. Because you're going to blow up the board. And you can see that hit for like 450k. Uh, with nothing on it at 4 star uh, bronze. So, really, guys, this is how I would run him all month long. Uh, that was kind of fast. Uh, you uh, How to win at two-star? Yeah. So, um, you should be fine, I would say, all month with him. Even if you have to cycle it a couple times later in the month, you're going to be fine. If you start having to cycle it, go ahead and throw the... Oh, we'll run it again at not two times speed. Because, yeah, if you blinked, you might have missed it. Um... You can run the sub in to slow them down, you know, if you have to. But really, guys, um, he's a very strong uh, character. I plan on taking him six star for his training ability when the month is over, to be honest. Um, and he's a very solid, aggressive powerhouse. If you didn't see my preview, actually at six star uh, with a Titan plate, which, by the way, all of you free-to-play players can get in the prize wall. Um... I think he's actually a little bit better than Hall of Fame Taker. So this card is definitely uh, worth leveling up. And you shouldn't probably struggle all month long running this setup. Yes, there's other stuff you can do. Um, this is just simpler. That was no Cascade and 340k. Two moves, super simple, right guys? Um, 
You should have all the trainers shown here. Uh, BBC, no. There isn't a good Bella in the game. In my opinion. Yeah. Uh, like I said, you could do other stuff. If you wanted to use the cross breaks for some reason, you could absolutely do that. Where you put three columns down. Um... And then use the finisher to choose two rows. You're basically blowing up the whole board as well. Um, and then choose into the red. But now you're using three moves, kind of. Um, when you could just use two. So. I don't really know why I would use anything other than these two. Especially since all the trainers are easy to come by. It just seems like the really good route. But yeah, if you need to later on throw the Cobra Clutch in to slow them down. Um, when you fill the yellow up after the first cycle. So that's what I have for you guys on Ridge. First time doing this type of video. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. If you want to see it next month, let me know. If there's something different you wanted to know about 4 Star Bronze uh, Ridge to help you later in the month, also let me know. Uh, if you felt like the trainers I used was a problem for you at free to play, let me know. Um, I would appreciate constructive feedback. And then, uh, if enough people like this, I'll do it every month going forward, probably. So yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. Remember to like, subscribe, and share. Thanks for watching guys and good luck out there.